24-year-old Summer Taylor, who worked at a veterinary clinic and protested frequently in support of the Black Lives Matter movement, was killed this past weekend and another person was injured when someone drove a car directly into a crowd of protesters. Now this protest was occurring on the I-5 highway in Seattle, so of course some people, the worst fucking people, are saying things like, well, they should have known better than to be on a highway. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Because those people really think this is all a fucking game. It doesn't affect their shitty lives, so what do they care? Plus, they have no fucking souls. One of these soulless assholes works in the Kings County Sheriff's Department, the same department overseeing this case. He waited less than two days after Summer died to post a meme with the phrase all lives splatter over a picture of a truck plowing into protesters. Get it? Funny. Other people are defending the driver, saying things like, well, it was on a highway, it was late at night, it was dark, they're wearing dark clothes, maybe he didn't see him, maybe he didn't know. The highway was closed for the protest, just like it had been for 19 days straight. This asshole drove on the off-ramp, swerved around barricades, and drove directly into two people, killing one of them. It wasn't some mistake, it was murder. And it's part of a bigger pattern. There have been at least 25 incidents of people, sometimes cops, driving into protesters since the death of George Floyd. 25, just since May. It's happened in Virginia, in Florida, in Illinois, in Seattle. And it's nothing new. Three years ago, Heather Heyer was killed in Charlottesville when a neo-Nazi took his murder mobile and plowed into a crowd of protesters. And what have local and state governments done in response to these horrific incidents? Well, a lot of places are trying to ban any laws against driving into protesters. They're trying to make it easier. Probably because a lot of the people who share those all lives splatter memes and say things like, well, if they get in my way, I'll drive them over too. Thanks for pre-confessing to vehicular homicide, by the way. A lot of those fucking maniacs work in the government and make up these fucking laws. Also, isn't it funny how mainstream media has all but ignored the continuous protests in incidents like this? But one Wendy's goes up in flames and it's endless coverage. It's all they can fucking talk about. Yeah, real funny. Everything's fucking hilarious.